everybody, welcome back to my channel. I literally just got finished recording a video for my respiratory therapist or students actually that um, watch my channel. I have a new job and I love it so much. So make sure you watch that video. But this right here is gonna be for the students. I haven't made a video for students in a long, long time because I'm not a student anymore. <laughs> and when I first graduated, I started this channel. So I was making more videos for students. However, I stopped since I'm in my career now. But my friend and I, she's in nursing school currently and she just is so eager to know how I studied and how I passed classes and was it hard. And although it's not respiratory, like nursing and respiratory, we still kind of go through the same things. We have to study the same. We go through a lot of different situations that a lot of other majors or people don't go through in their careers. So. I was like, you know what, let me make a video since you're so eager to know how I learned and got through respiratory school. Let me actually make a video on my YouTube channel to help these respiratory students and help them pass their exams and know how to take tests and all that because I haven't done it in a long time and that video is so old and so trash and I don't even look like that anymore, I don't think. So let me help y'all with how you would successfully past respiratory school and I just want to start off saying something my professors always said to me and I wonder if they watch my videos some days I think they do I hope they don't because that's embarrassing because I don't even like to really watch my videos it's kind of cringy to me when I actually see it but um yeah so one thing they told me that was most important and it was do not take shortcuts. Like, yeah, I know y'all just want to pass the test, y'all want to pass the exams, a lot of y'all just want to have a good GPA, but do not take shortcuts because yeah, you may be passing and getting a high GPA and this and that, but cheating and just passing by and just doing enough just to get by or get C's, get degrees, whatever y'all like to say, um, it's just not gonna help you in the long run and I'm pretty sure it's better for you to have knowledge than to just pass the exams because when you get to the boards, when you get to your exit exams, it's gonna be harder for you. So make sure that you actually know what you're doing, know respiratory because at the end of the day, we actually have people's lives in our hands. So. <laughs> I wrote down a couple things and I may have said this in a previous video a long long time ago when I was in like just graduated college like 2020 um, I may have said some of these things before but I'm gonna say them again and I think I may have added some things I don't watch my old videos if y'all see I can't watch my videos now because they're cringy I definitely can't watch those old videos it's cringy as hell so um I know I said some of these things before but I may have added some things that I thought about in my adult career which I was an adult back then but in my I'm more of an adult now like when I first started I was 22 now I'm about to be 25 in February so I have learned a little. So these are the things that I wanna say. Um, read before class, this is very important. Always reading before class will help you kind of grasp and have an idea of the information that you're about to learn in class. And I know your teachers, your professors, I know your professors are giving you syllabus, so you should know exactly what you're about to talk about the next class. So make sure you read before class, you can have an idea of what's going on in the lesson that you're talking about so when you're in class you can ask your professor exactly what you read about and they'll look at you like oh look she read this before or he read this before they came to class so they kind of know a little something so make sure you read before class that's very important it just helps you reinforce and reinforce and reinforce the information over and over again and reinforcing information is what helps it stick to you doing it over and over, seeing it over and over. So reading before class is very important. Even if you just skim through it, that's better than not seeing the information at all. So when your teacher's talking about it, you're like trying to figure out what she's talking about. But if you actually read it prior to coming to class, then you would know exactly what she's talking about. So very important, read before you go to class. Um, 
Utilize Quizlet. This is another thing that's very important. Utilize Quizlet. Quizlet is the best thing that ever came for college students, high school students, students in general. It's the best thing and I can't believe it's even free. It gives you, it allows you to test yourself, to use virtual flashcards, to, you know, do true or false. Like Quizlet is very good for students. And the thing is, a lot of people ask me for my Quizlet, like, hey, can I use your Quizlet that you use for this test? Have you? Can I use your Quizlet that you use for the exit exam, blah, 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 blah. The answer is no, and I don't try to be me when I say that to y'all, but one, that's a shortcut, cause y'all don't need to be seeing my Quizlet. Um, and two, my Quizlet was freaking chicken scratch. Like, it was only for me to understand. And when you're actually typing in Quizlets, that's when you're learning that information like you're right not only you're looking at the book and typing it in quizlet you're learning that information like that so when you're taking those tests those true and false and those little flashcards, you're again reinforcing that information in your head so it's not like you're just you know seeing it for the first time that's why i don't like giving away my quizlets because it's not helping y'all and i like to help y'all like my quizlets were chicken scratch i can't even find them <laughs> online i try to i just don't know where they are so don't try to use other people's quiz lists and take shortcuts i got all my i like for the board exams and for the exit exams i use all my quiz lists on um i use like Kettering to like transfer the information from the book to Quizlet. So yeah, I don't give out my Quizlet and the reason is because that helps you study in itself. And the most important thing is for you all not to take shortcuts, but to actually learn the information. So yeah, utilize Quizlet, it's very good. I think they have some pro version if you're that eager to study and learn and you really want to um, make sure you know that information, go buy the pro version, you know, maybe it'll be better than a tutor. So um, yeah, Quizlet is very important. Studying with friends, I know I said this before, studying with friends is very important. However, y'all have to make sure when you're studying with friends that you don't just actually, you know, play around and, you know, don't bring wine to the study groups or anything because you might turn that into something else. Like when you're studying with friends, like, yeah, you don't have to be serious the whole time and just, hey, study, 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 study. But make sure you're actually studying and quizzing each other, asking each other what you know, like doing little study techniques, just figuring out different ways to learn the information. And you know, you guys might have different ideas. And when I was in college, I used to study with my four friends and they're still my friends to this day. And they're actually my really close friends. And we talk like every week, every day. Um, it's Asia, Bernia, and Nikki, and me. We used to always go to Asia's study room in her apartment. We used to just study, 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 study. We spent the night at school one time trying to study. Like, studying was so important to our friend group. It was a big part of our friend group, and that's why we are kind of close today in respiratory, especially because we used to always study together. So study with your friends. Y'all quiz each other, y'all ask each other questions, you know, just collaborate, have different ideas. Do it three times a week. Like, make sure, but make sure, hey, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot this. But make sure you do study alone. Don't just study with friends. Also study alone. Because if you just study with friends, like, you need a chance to have some time to yourself so you can understand it by yourself and not just you know all your friends ideas and this and that so make sure you have time you set aside time to study yourself i would study more by myself than i would with friends last thing i want to oh wait two more things i want to say always talk to your professors make sure you utilize them and you talk to them after class if you have questions don't be shy i know a lot of times we're shy um especially when you just get to respiratory school like you're a little more shyer but then you'll get more comfortable as the years go by or as the semesters go by um make sure you talk to your professors because if you just start respiratory school and you start talking to your professors they're going to be like hey she actually wants to learn 
far as she actually needs help. Instead of waiting the last minute to talk to them and they're like, okay, you just want to pass and you see like that it's not looking too good for you, that's why you want to do it. But no, if you actually talk to them, like as soon as you get into respiratory school, as soon as you have a problem, they will help you. And they'll probably help you regardless because that's their job. But make sure you talk to them, you tell them what you don't know, you tell them what you need to know, you have them help you and they may have study groups they may host study groups just to help your little boot camps I know my professors did that for us so um, just make sure you take advantage of your professors they're literally there for you and nobody's gonna understand respiratory better than them because they're literally respiratory therapist professors like even in the hospital you want to talk like sometimes people ask me about respiratory stuff and you know I help them but some of that stuff from school I don't really remember like that so ask your respiratory professors they will know exactly what to do and exactly how to help um okay last thing I want to say is pay attention for clinicals pay attention in clinicals and paying attention in clinicals is very important because one it could help you with your labs and all the hands-on stuff you do we all know the hospital is different than the book but when you pay attention in clinicals you could still grasp some things in some context from clinicals that you can use at school so when you're in clinicals make sure you're paying attention i know it's hard y'all aren't used to doing 12 hour shifts or however many hours you do but make sure you're paying attention you're taking notes you're asking whatever therapist you are with like things that you may not you know know or have trouble on ask them that um i know you might have clinical what do they call them clinical instructors yeah clinical instructors ask them questions and you know just make sure you're paying attention and you're there to learn and not just to get by because you're not getting paid so it's like you might as well actually learn to help you in school so when you do get paid no to help you in school so you could graduate and get paid so yeah make sure you all do that that's pretty much all i got for y'all if y'all students want more videos just let me know what exactly you want me to talk about i hope this video helped you um watch the rest of my respiratory content although you guys may still be students y'all can see like what we go through as respiratory therapists in our career and i'm very excited for you all to pass your exams take your exams let me know if i helped in any type of way which i know i did so let me know what i helped you with and if you all want any more respiratory student content just let me know so bye